this is the Honda EU 3000i Handy. And this is my extended runtime remote tool kit for it. Operation is very straightforward and simple. Take the hose with the prime bulb. Note that there's an arrow on the prime bulb and that points in the direction of fuel flow. And it flows from the tank to the generator. Connect one end of the generator. The other end to the remote tank. Pump the prime bulb until it gets firm, which shouldn't take long. I'd like to point out a couple of things. Number one, I do not include a tank with my kit because no two people seem to want the same exact size tank. I recommend uh, Atwood. They have a three gallon, six gallon, nine gallon, 12 gallon, anything you want all the way up to, I think 103 gallons. Uh, you can get them anywhere in the Brother uh, Bass Pro Shops or any marine dealer. My kit does include a fitting which screws into any marine tank. It also includes a fuel filter. On this generator, because the way the case is laid out, and if you watch the install video, you'll see as I touch on it there too. The, the way the cases on this generator are set up, in order to make the fuel filter serviceable, it's probably best to put the fuel filter in the hose going to the generator. That way you can see it when it's clogged up, because the cases on this completely seal up the entire generator. And a fuel filter, while it's a good idea, if it's difficult to get at and service it, it's not so good. So I do include the fuel filter. I do include clamps to put in it. You simply cut the hose and install the fuel filter and put a clamp on each end. So once you hook up the hose, pump the prime bulb, operation is very straightforward and simple. I'm going to go ahead and start it so that you see it started. I'm not going to run it long because we're in a small room. But to run it off of the remote tank, you move the fuel tank vent to the off or closed position. To run it off the stock tank, you'd move it to the on or open position. Anytime the fuel tank or anytime the fuel vent is in the off position, it's going to attempt to pull fuel from the remote tank. If it's in the on position or open, it's going to attempt to pull fuel from the stock tank. And that's regardless of if you've got it hooked to a remote tank and this vent is in the open or on position, it's going to suck all the fuel out of this tank and then it'll stall because it's going to continue to suck air out of this tank until you close this vent. So at any rate, with the vent in the closed position, turn the knob to the choke position if it's cold or the on position if it's warm and that would be off position. So we're going to go ahead and choke it because this hasn't been run in a while and I'm just going to start it up and then I'll shut it down because we are in a small room. As I indicated earlier, you can use the stock tank or the remote tank. You don't lose the function of anything. If you've got any questions, if you're watching this video on YouTube, please go to my website. It's in the description section below. There's a link to it. Uh, if you don't find the answers to all your questions on my website, give me a call.